When I was 13, my grandfather gave me that book that's in tatters back there um, because it was important to him to very early instill Baltimore in his grandkids. To me, if you were to grab 10 people off the street and say, okay, you're gonna be a tourist, what would bring you to Baltimore? Go up that door right now and ask 10 people and they're gonna say Poe. Well, I knew I was an artist from very, very, when I was very young because my mom spotted it. I had a lot of struggles younger um, with being an artist and knowing that I was an artist and I learned as I got older, that's kind of the MO of a lot of um, artists. And a lot of people, a lot of people like me identify with Poe. He painted a picture with his words, which I find uh, even more beautiful because I can take colors and make a beautiful color and you can see a beautiful color, but words on a page that you're reading, um, I find that to be so much more difficult. 20 years ago, I got commissioned to draw a portrait of Poe. And so I did this portrait behind me and I loved it so much, I couldn't let it go. This drawing was obsessive for me. I remember, because usually I'll draw a whole face, sketch it in, and then build it out. I started with his one eye. Um, and that eye just stared at me on my easel and just haunted me. That drawing, the, it was really intense. I'd never experienced anything like it. It drew me in and, and was an obsessive drawing for me because it was so pivotal uh, in artistically and then with the light bulb of Poe po theme place. It all started with that drawing for sure. I'm a restaurant person, I wanted to open my own place, and I was trying to come up with ideas in the early 2000s of, of what to do. The light bulb went off, I was like, there isn't a single Poe themed place. So in like 2003, I started to really game plan a themed, a Poe themed place, a place for Poe. My long range hope was that I would somehow get tied to the Poe house and grave. So when you come to Baltimore, you go to the house, you go to the grave, then you come here. Within a year, my long range goal had already been achieved. People were, if you're coming to Baltimore and doing the Poe thing, Annabelle Tavern was Tavern was in there. So that was, that was amazing. Everything here is built towards comfort. It's like my, my grandparents were from Baltimore. So I wanted to make it feel like you walk the Poe thing is here, but also like you're feeling walking into your grandmother's living rooms. Everyone has a comfort food. So it's what well, I call it upscale comfort. You can't really get tired of one thing because we, we have so many specials every night. We have like seven dinner specials plus our menu. There's always something to get here. You can't really get tired of the, of the menu. And then there's the Poe themed place. But I went more for, because everyone's done the creepy, the raven, the telltale heart, the, the ring, ring, ring. I'm a romantic, and the Annabelle Lee is a romantic poem. Um, it's dark, romantic, and I wanted to go more for, for that, um, because he is a, a, an artist, a beautiful artist, and I wanted to kind of have that be more the vibe. He embodies the, the dark, tragic life of an artist. Since my work always tended to be darker, it was a perfect marriage. When I opened, there was nothing but dive bars around. And it's because I did so well, you know, every dive bar started disappearing and then little gastro pubs are up ever. So where I was surrounded by five absolute dive bars are now five gastro pubs. So revenue just started going away. And then in 17, uh, I posted on Facebook, hey guys, you know, closing Sunday and I was thought I know I knew that it would get busy um, for that weekend but when I opened the door Friday there was a sea of humanity outside we couldn't the place filled up and we ran out of menus within 15 minutes it was overwhelming it was like the end of it's a wonderful life times a hundred I am not exaggerating it the, the out people crying people we got engaged here, we got this here, we got that there, and I had no idea. And so on the last day, one of my regular customers came to me and he said, me and my friend would like to invest. I had a meeting with a bankruptcy attorney on Monday that I canceled. I met with these two guys on Tuesday and 
the game it started. Then we closed on May 27th and reopened on August 11th. Honestly, I, I just feel like we have something that is truly unique. And I feel like if you want to, if you're visiting or even if you're here and you want to capture the essence of what is Baltimore, I feel like in this little postage stamp size place, we get it, we do it. I just didn't know how much this place means to people. I, did, I had no idea that it, that it that it meant that much. And it was, it was really, it was really special.